Dan Miller interviewed him a little bit and they put it on their YouTube. Um, and he basically came out and said, hey, we're getting a lot of different networks asking for the Detroit Lions. Yeah, People we are. are reaching out. They remind me, I know I put this out. This, this came out Sunday or Monday. Um, but I think tomorrow is that primetime Thursday game, Thanksgiving. The whole whole country will be watching the Detroit Lions. It remind me of this. And, bro, I wanted to ask you. We've talked about this these flex games. I think the Lions might get flexed two more times this year. They I, might. I truly do think. I think that Broncos, and then I think you could sit there and say maybe the Dallas. Dan Miller was on E and E today. Did bring up a good point with Dallas that it was like moving to Saturday. You can't really. Well, it's gonna most likely be Saturday. He said with the um, uh, what's his name uh, that uh, the heavyweights hate. Uh, JFK. Troy Aikman and. Uh, Joe Buck? Joe Buck, yes. He said that they might probably get them on Saturday, but they said there's no Monday night football games because it's New Year's. Interesting. So that Cowboys week. I don't want a shortened week, but that would be cool to be on national TV as long as they play well. It would. Which they haven't in Dallas the last couple of years. And the Broncos game is sitting there. It's, it's TBD as well. So I think just with Roger yeah. Goodell, the NFL, you know what the NFL is about. The, these leagues are about dollars. making money. Yeah. That's all they want to do. So when you have a guy like Roger Goodell that says, hey, we've got a lot of networks that are reaching out to us about the Detroit Lions, I can guarantee you that the Lions get flexed a couple yeah. times this year. Because they want to make that money. You think, too, with, with Gurdell showing up at the game and, and the networks want to see the Lions, do you think deep down there's a like the Lions are going to start getting some favorable calls from the refs or maybe uh, some of those, like, Ticky Tack, Will Harris, pass interferences in the end zone maybe don't get called because they want to keep this ship rolling? 16 and 4 in the I last see, 20 games. I see what you're saying. See where I I'm going? Th- I do think possibly. I don't think we're going to get those calls, but I think you're not going to get the calls that you've gotten in the past. Gotcha. Like, remember, like 2015, like those years when you were getting, like, in the playoffs, the Dallas game? Like, you're not going to get bad calls against you. I don't. I feel like. Do we get, like, like you know how uh, on opening night against the Chiefs, the, the right tackle oh was, my gosh. was. I think after that, you'll never get a bad call against the Lions again. Yeah, like, like are they viewed now in the way where, okay, we see that, we're going to make sure that gets called. Yeah, I think Roger, or, like, knowing that the people want to see the Lions, networks want the Lions, everything's about the Lions right now. When Roger probably saw that, he probably called the refs the, them right away. And they're like, what are you doing? Yeah. People want this team. Like, what are we doing? Yeah. I, I do think, though, he. Well, I know he was in town. I believe he had a meeting in regards to the NFL draft as well. Um, so that's exciting. Things are things are looking very, very up um, here in Detroit. And then, obviously, tomorrow we have all these Thanksgiving festivities downtown. 